Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is part of our uh, camping and survival series. So uh, here's the first one that we're gonna go ahead and take care of today. And uh, definitely a nice, as you can see, a nice big knife there. Uh, this is the Extreme Tack, uh, and this is considered a bushcraft knife. Now, uh, as we open it up here, you can see it's got some uh, a few pieces to it. First thing we've got uh, that you can notice is it does have a uh, shoulder harness or strap. Uh, now this of course can be configured in a few different ways the way this is set up. It has a uh, Velcro strip down here at the bottom as well as one up here at where the link is at so you can pull it out and take it out from either one of these and hook it up in a different way. You have two other loops here and two more here so that uh, you can of course hook it to your leg or uh, anywhere else. Uh, and you know make sure that it is secure where you feel most comfortable with it uh, But definitely nice the fact that it uh, it's it's removable like that and of course it is adjustable with the uh, with the uh, sliding uh, Clip there or loop Now this is a nylon sheath of course, and uh, it does have a pouch in the front It does come with a sharpening stone now. This is one of those ones It's a plastic back with the steel plate that has the diamond impregnated uh, uh, grit on on the front there uh, now of course you do uh, preferably use this wet uh, there are the little relief holes in there to kind of help with with uh, keeping from getting it uh, built up and packed full of uh, the grinding and everything and then of course you can just rinse it off it does have a little tiny hole in the top I don't know that you could really put like a lanyard in that and I don't know that you'd really want to and uh, then it has the uh, simple snap to hold it in and oh, we've got the blade covered in plastic there. This is stiffened. There, there is like a, uh, a plastic type stiffener in here. So this isn't loose and floppy as you can see. It, it has some rigidity to it, uh, even up into the, uh, the belt loop here. Uh, so so not, a bad, not a bad holster or a sheath. Uh, and definitely like the idea that it has, of course, all of the uh, ways of being able to attach it. Uh, now here, of course, is the knife itself. It does have uh, a Tonto edge there to it, and the Tonto edge, roughly, that's uh, approximately three, well, about two and a half inches, actually. Um, approximately two and a half inches, and then this is just over an inch, about an inch and a quarter at the front section there. So it's not a super long blade or a super long uh, section that is sharpened, uh, but, uh, you know, it's big enough to do the majority of the things that you may want to do. Uh, you do have this uh, rigid section or kind of a sort of a serrated saw type section. Uh, it is mildly sharp. It does have a bevel on it, meaning uh, it doesn't have like an actual edge so I can run my finger across it and it's not going to cut it. But uh, this could be uh, for maybe doing a little bit of sawing or uh, some other things. Uh, maybe uh, using that to strike your flint uh, or a fire stick. Uh, now this does have a very thick tang as you can see here. This is about a quarter of an inch thick all the way through the handle and up part of the way into the blade until it finally starts to taper down. So uh, definitely very heavy. Um, this, it, it, it's a very heavy weighted uh, blade. It, um, it feels, honestly, the weight of it feels like a, a, a small camping axe or a small hatchet. Uh, it's, it's got a lot of weight there. Definitely a lot more of it in the handle. But uh, then you've got the two rivets there and you do have the thick uh, handle. To be honest, I wouldn't mind if it was thinned down a little bit. Uh, take off about 15% uh, or so of the thickness of this because, I mean, I, I, I have kind of wide hands but I don't have super long fingers and uh, so wrapping around I mean I can of course do it but uh, it's not as comfortable uh, to be honest uh, you do have these little like ridges in here for sort of like for your fingers I guess um, I don't know exactly where they came up with that kind of design it's it's actually a little bit awkward uh, so I don't I'm not real sure about that but they do have the uh, the two pieces here and they have the holes in them and initially those uh, if you had a flat uh, handle or a flatter handle uh, 
it, it's set up so that uh, you can take this, put it on the end of a stick, um, and use it as a spear. You would uh, wrap your uh, cordage around through there. You could take and tie it into here and into here, and then of course wrap through this open section here and uh, lash it on so that it stays nice and secure and uh, you know, it won't be coming out when you're using it. Uh, but uh, with, a, with a handle like this, I don't see that as being very, um, very usable, honestly, um, unless you're literally going to wedge out the stick to uh, make room for the handle, which is kind of impractical. Uh, so the, the weight is nice and everything. The grip on it is kind of awkward. Uh, you do have, of course, the thumb, the thumb piece here with a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of grip right there it does have the ridges in it there and it does have uh, some ridges going across here at the bottom for the finger so right there you've got some grip additional um, you do have of course a uh, lanyard hold and that's a very large lanyard hole at the back end where you can of course put on uh, now some people like open some people like closed lanyards um, I, I don't mind either way my biggest thing with a lanyard is just being able to have additional length to either hold it from or to help secure it to my hand. So this is a pretty pretty nice one in general. Um, it would definitely be good. Uh, it is built, uh, as I said, for bushcraft. That is the design uh, that they went for with it. Um, the funny thing is, is kind of the way they present it though, it seems, seems almost more tactical than uh, for bushcraft. Uh, it, it's definitely got, I think, uh, more of the bushcraft idea is the idea that it is very heavy weighted, uh, so it's going to be very durable for when you're out there. But, uh, you know, I think that'll do it for us today. Pretty decent one. This is the Extreme Tack uh, Bushcraft Knife here. Uh, if you guys want to check this out, we'll have a link down there in the description below. Also, we have our social media down there. Uh, and then, of course, don't forget to, uh, before you go down there or on your way back up, hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead, and if you haven't done it already, hit that little uh, icon over there or the subscribe button down below to let you get notified of when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Got to make sure you hit that uh, little bell icon as well. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar. This is the World of Me. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.